Hello, I'm Dan from Ace Rebounds and Sales, and right next to me is our 2021 Thor Tolaro 2018. Now today, I'm going to be showing you all the appliances on the inside and outside, so you'll be all ready when you come to rent from us. First of all, on the driver's side here, if you open up the door, you can access the gas cap. So this is just regular gas, no premium or diesel, just 87 regular gas. Next up, we have the connector for the power cord. This RV is 30 amps, so once you plug it in with 30 amp connection with the power cord, you'll get all the electrical appliances working. That'll be your TV, your microwave, your AC unit, and your outlets. Right next to that, you have the TV cable inlet. We'll give you the TV cable. You just want to hook it up here when you're at your campsite. You'll get all the channels through cable. If you don't have cable hookup, there's also an antenna inside this RV, so you can use the antenna to find all the local channels. And right next to that, we have the exhaust for the furnace, so just expect it to be hot and don't put your hand here. Below that, we have the valve for the propane. So you can just switch it off and on with this switch here. Right now it's on. Um, if you do need to refill it, campsite and truck station will do it for you. Uh, the propane will be for the stove, the oven, the water heater, and the fridge when you're not plugged in. It'll last about one week before you'll have to refill it. And there is a sensor inside that will show you how full or empty it is. Over here, we have the black tank for the toilet. There will be a sensor inside that will show you how empty or full the black tank is and it will all empty from the toilet into this little box here. You want to take it out. And when you're at your campsite, you have the little hole in the ground for the sewer. You just take this, unscrew it, and pour it down. And over here, we have two inlets for the water. Over here, you have the city water inlet. So we'll give you the hose for this. You just want to hook it up here when you're at your campsite. It'll take the water from the campsite directly into your pipes, and it will bypass the fresh water tank. So you won't be taking anything off of your freshwater tank when you're plugged in with city water at your campsite. On the other hand, if you want to fill up your freshwater tank, when you're on the road, you're not plugged in, you want to use the sink or the shower or the toilet, you're going to take it off of the tank, and this is where you'll fill up the tank. There will be a sensor inside that will show you how full the tank is, but you're going to use the same hose as the city water inlet, plug it in here, and fill it up. Over here in the back of the RV, we have the rear view camera up top. It'll go back about eight feet. So when you put the RV in reverse, it will pop up. Otherwise, you can keep it on when you're driving. If we open up the back here. You have the rear entrance into the RV. We have the power cord here. Again, this is 30 amps. We'll also give you a 15 amp adapter. In this cabinet here, we have a bag. This white hose here is your fresh water hose. Oh, never mind, this thing's stuck. In this cabinet here, we have a bag that has, first of all, the white hose here is your fresh and city water hose. This will be for the inlets I just showed you. You have the black wire here, which is your TV cable. And we'll also give you, is it? Okay, here it is. Right over here is your 30 amp to 15 amp adapter. So you'll plug this in at the end of your power cord. You have two switches right here. You can turn on and off the water pump from the outside, actually. Of course, there's also going to be a switch inside. You also have a light for the porch light. You just turn this on and off. Over here on the passenger side, we have two wall outlets, 110 volt, 15 amp. Just make sure that the generator is on or you're plugged in for these to work. And below that here, we have the propane outlet. So if you have a grill at your campsite, you can hook it up to here and take it off of the propane tank. Now that we're done with the outside, we can head inside here. Down here, all you have to worry about is the switch that turns on and off the house battery. The house battery is gonna be for very minor things like the lights or the awning. So that means you don't have to be plugged in just to turn on a light, for example. You can leave it on when you're driving. The house battery is gonna be powered when you have uh, the engine on or when you're plugged in at your campsite, so you can rely on this. And next to that you have your fire extinguisher. Over here for your control panel, you have a little tablet here that runs on an Android OS. So the home page here will just show you basic info about the RV, but you can go to more specific info by going down this menu. If you press this teardrop here, you can check the tank levels. So here you can see the freshwater tank is full and your grey water tank is empty. If you push down the water pump here, that means the water pump will be on, it'll run on the house battery, so if you want to open up a faucet, the water will come out. We recommend you have this off when you're driving, just in case a faucet opens, you don't want all your water coming out. The tank here you can use in the winter, it'll just have it on, just so that the waste tanks won't freeze over. 
over here. There is no awning for our Talara, but if your Talara has an awning, you will open it and close it here. Uh, the climate means the AC unit on the roof. So if I were to turn this on, if the gen were on, the AC unit in the back there would be on. The lights here, you can adjust all the lights in the RV just by pressing this button. This here will be your tire pressure. This here will show you the battery voltage, how full the propane tank is, and you can also turn on and off the generator here. So all you have to do is just hold down start, and over here it should say starting. Also here you have the total number of hours the generator has been running total. So this will be 31.6 hours. It'll just take a few seconds to start. Now that the generator is on, I can go back to climate, turn on the button for the AC, and the unit in the roof there is now working. If you want to turn off the generator, you just have to hold down the stop. You can see the status here, so now it says stopping. We recommend you have the generator on for no more than three hours at a time, and then three hours off. So if you want to keep it continuously running, three hours at a time, then three hours off, three hours back on. Next, I'll show you how to find channels on the TV. You just want to have the TV on, hit input in the top right here, and make sure your source is on TV. Then you're going to hit menu. Go over to channel and you can switch between the antenna which is air or cable if you're plugged in at your campsite. We're using the antenna right now so we'll switch over to air, hit auto scan and there you go. It should take no more than five to ten minutes to find channels. In this cabinet right here we have the water heater settings so you just want to press this button, turn the dial clockwise once to go to this thermostat option when it's blinking, press the button, turn it clockwise twice to go to hot press it again and now your water heater is running. It's going to run on the propane and it should take no more than 20 minutes to heat up the water. So if you want to take a hot shower, just plan that much in advance. If you want to turn off the hot water heater, you just go back to the same thermostat right here, turn it clockwise or counterclockwise back to off, press it and now the hot water heater is off. Over to my right here we have the kitchen area. So the sink cover doubles as a cutting board. We like to keep the turntable for the microwave in the sink just in case the latch breaks when you're driving. You can never be too careful. The microwave itself just functions as a regular house microwave. You should never have the microwave and the AC on at the same time when you're running on the generator. That's too powerful for this generator and it'll cause it to trip. When you are plugged in to 30 amp connection, however, you can run the AC and the microwave at the same time. Below the microwave here is the stove. This is going to run on the propane. So if you want to light it, just set this to light, spark it, and there you go. Just leave the cover open for a few minutes after you're done. Below the stove, we have the fridge and the freezer here. If you decide to turn this off and turn it back on, it should take about two or three hours for it to cool down completely. This is gonna run on the propane when you're not plugged in, but when you do plug into 30 amp connection, it will automatically switch over to that electricity. And opposite the kitchen here, we have the bathroom. Here you have a sink, a shower, and a toilet. So for the toilet, that little blue button down there will be to flush it. And behind the toilet, you have a sensor. That sensor will be for the black tank. When it's green, that means that that little box outside that I showed you is empty. But as it gets more full, it will gradually turn red. So that will be your sign to dump it. Over here is the sink. Just like that. And your shower is here. I should also mention that the toilet paper is RV specific, so if you do need to get it, the camping section at Walmart is a good option, or campsites themselves will sell it. In the back here, we have our bedroom area. We have a lot of drawers and cabinets down here, but this one has the fuse box. We'll give you some extra fuses, so in case anything blows, you know it's right here. You also have a little more storage underneath this bed here. And while you have two separate beds here, they can connect into one. All you want to do is take the bed frame on the right side, slide it to the left, and latch it on. And then you can take this cushion and put it in the middle. For safety purposes, along with the fire extinguisher, we have the carbon monoxide and propane detector down here. And in the bedroom area, we have a smoke detector right up by my head here. Also over here we have more cabinet area. 
on both sides. To use the windows, you just want to squeeze here and open it up like this. You can also detach the screen here. And you have your curtains that just pull down and push up. This Tolaro also comes with an overhead bunk. You just want to take these straps off first on the left and right and across. You can lock and unlock with this button. Just push it down and you know that's unlocked. And there you go. Just lift it up. And you have an overhead bunk right up here. Up here in the shelf you have privacy curtains for the windshield, the windows on the side, and the windows in the back here. Over here you have seats for two more people, and you have a table that extends from the wall across like this. Over here behind the passenger seat, we'll give you this little envelope that has the instruction manual, the registration, and those extra fuses I was talking about. As far as the keys go, you have the ignition here. This will also open up the doors in the back. You have the key here. This will be for the black tank. And this key here will be for the freshwater inlet compartment. Also here you have the keychain that will have the 24-7 roadside assistance number. There will also be a sticker above the control panel. Now the front cab operates just like a regular Ram truck. You have your AC settings here. On this display here you have your radio, you can connect your phone with Bluetooth, and you have your camera view here, which will also come on when you put the RV in reverse. Uh, your handbrake is going to be by my left hand right here. You're just going to pull it up to lock it and then pull it down to release it. And that's all I have for our 2021 Thor Talaro 2018 model. I've been Dan from Ace Reed Reynolds and Sales and have a great trip.